Hello guys, and today we're going to look at a chess match that I had recently, okay? In fact, probably about 20 minutes ago, when I, try, I just played quickly, okay? Now, I played rather strangely on purpose, because I just felt like being different. And for the first few moves, they eerily mirrored me for some reason, pretty much. Well, they both moved out their bishop, but they did make some slight changes. Normally, I don't castle very early. I don't generally prefer like castling. I think it's pinned your king in unnecessarily. But for once, I thought I just would do it because I felt like being different. Maybe I thought there's somebody that prefers um, knights to bishops. I don't know, but anyway. This means I can, if they do take the knight, I can take it either with the rook or the queen. They decide to take the pawn. I'm now going to do something that's going to seem very strange indeed. I'm going to move the queen out. They decide to take the pawn. Now, this is where what I'm going to do is going to sound really, really, really strange. And I'm aware I'm playing against somebody who's not brilliant because I've got a low ranking and so have I. But I have a low ranking because I play deliberately badly or rather differently, to be honest. Just as an experiment, okay? And because I like to try new f ideas out. So now you would expect me to take the bishop. Sorry, take the pawn with the, the bishop or the queen. I do neither. I do something that on the surface looks unbelievably stupid. I move the queen out of the way. They can't believe their luck. And now gain a new queen. Probably think I know nothing about chess at all. I now don't even bother taking the queen. I instead move the knight out. They probably can't believe their luck with this either. They probably think, what an idiot. They're even allowing me to take their knight. The next move, they take the completely undefended knight. At this point, they have two queens on the board, and I have one. They all, I also have one less bishop than they do. And one less knight than they do. In terms of the number of pieces I have on the board, it's not looking very good at all. But I have something they don't have. Position. The next move I did was move the queen. Checkmate. So by sacrificing a bishop and a knight and allowing them, and a pawn as well, and allowing them to gain an extra queen, I managed to get checkmate. Let's go back a bit. What could they have done instead? Well, let's suppose saying they were willing to sacrifice their queen. And take the queen. I could have moved this down here and then depending on what they want they did next I could still have moved the Queen there on a later move checkmate if they didn't try to stop me they could then have done that to try and stop it alternatively I could have taken the Queen off this way
if they had been stupid enough to then threaten my knight, I could have moved the queen there. Checkmate. If they'd moved this pawn down here, that would have caused a problem for me. However, I could have done that to get check. I could then move that and it could have carried on. But truthfully, from the original position, there was no way they could have stopped checkmate unless they sacrificed their queen. I believe, well, no, because Though I suppose, in theory, that's maybe not been the truth, because I could have done that. And... And I suppose I could have moved there. And from here it would be harder, I believe, for them to stop. Um... Yes, yeah, so then they could have taken the knight, I suppose, if I'd moved there. Or, I could have lost my queen and they could have lost their second queen. I could have moved there. If they'd moved that forward, it wouldn't have helped. I could have moved there. Or, something else I could have done. If they had moved there... I could move there. Um, it wouldn't help a lot. And they'd have to find some way So I would, I would at this stage have been in more trouble. But the biggest problem people have in chess is they assume they're playing Monopoly and just take as many pieces as they can and fail to take into consideration the position. And if you're playing against somebody who you know hasn't got a very high ranking, who isn't very good, you normally assume they're playing Monopoly rather than 
proper chests and taking into consideration position. So there you go guys. Two queens versus one. And earlier I showed, you know, a mock-up um, joke um, chess video of four queens versus one as some sort of parody of Islam versus Christianity. Um, here I've shown that two queens versus one, one queen wins. Simply because of position. I know that's probably not going to interest everybody, but there you go. Thanks for watching. Bye.